Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the eighth episode. Uh, I mean, mini episode. What would be the eighth episode of Tech On In, in which uh, I will try to uh, do some more stuff on our old websites that I'm trying to do. Um, this is going to be very short uh, because I spent too much time changing platforms and configuring computers and whatnot. Um, but uh, hopefully it will allow me to go back on a, a slightly faster schedule. So um, let's get to it. Um, if you remember where we ended uh, like half a year ago before taking a summer break, uh, it was uh, in uh, figuring out uh, how to properly uh, use the um, uh, HTML from the original site. And um, if it's, yeah. uh, and we have ended up some, somewhere in the middle, but meanwhile, uh, when I've been trying to uh, set it up now, uh, like even if you go just to the home page, um, there are actually some errors uh, that I don't remember from before. So uh, let's go take a look at them, um, use that deploy and um, that will be it for today, but um, as I said, we'll continue, continue very soon. So uh, this is uh, from URL Reservoir. And URL, uh, URL Reservoir, oof, gosh, English today. Uh, URL Resolver, uh, that are the URLs.py that we're using all around. So, it is one of those tracing that is actually kind of tricky, um, but let's take a look. Uh, also, uh, let us use the Python interpreter, the correct one, so you actually get hints. So, um, URLs, that's most probably going to be uh, the one from the app. And uh, in what literal input based on name, this means that you're passing string somewhere uh, where integer belongs. And we are on the main news page, which that doesn't do anything tricky. Um, I mean, this is reverse lookup, so it may be actually a template problem. Um, you can see that this is a long traceback. Uh, resolving variable name in the blade unknown, that's very helpful. Uh, so maybe let's take a look at GitHub on uh, what have we been changing actually last time in terms of templates. So that was the last pull request. I hope at least I've been doing a pull request. Um, what may be the culprit? So the file changes. Can I actually do a list of files? No. Um, Right, they have been changing the HTML tag. That can be one culprit. Um, we have been testing it though, and it is only on creative pages, not on the main page. So this shouldn't be it. Uh, also of note, I think that we do have a test for the main page actually. So this should have had toyed up. Uh, uh, I mean, should have had uh, showed up uh, famous last words. So let's go to the project. Uh, I have to be in the rich environment as usual. And I think that um, answer, uh, sorry should be able to go together with one server. Um, I still have debug set pretty high, so 
this is probably more verbose than uh, would be useful. But then, when we're debugging, so finish request work. Also observe, uh, this is working even when I've ch changed operating system. Uh, that's good news. But I don't do wonder whether those tests just ignore if there's 500 underneath. Um, or it is not happening and it's because of my data. Uh, but we are not... We are, we are starting a run server underneath in a different thread. Um, so that would uh, that would mean that you would have to redirect the thread uh, from the run uh, like the logs from the run server thread somewhere where we could uh, read them. So this is. Uh, potentially useful going forward, uh, but slight oracle now. I mean, let me see whether Django is able to do it nowadays uh, in some reasonable fashion. So Django test server looks, I guess. Um, exactly this. Uh, huh. So this may actually be potentially the easiest way to uh, at least inspect that. Uh, so if we take a look at our logs, um, and let me actually be able to see them over the mic, uh, the logging is in settings and we are using local. And the logging is configured here. Everything should go to the console. Um, in, I mean, so either Django server is not using the console. Uh, let's see whether it uh, has a built-in handler. Uh, so all login from Django go to local file. Yeah, no, this is This, uh, we should see it. So let's see, well, I mean one is away, let's see whether if the, uh, if you would use stream handler for the null handler, whether you would get more results. Um, I kind of loved it, but it's worth a shot. This is the debug from the client, but it's not. It's not from the server because you can see that you don't see the uh, actual URL uh, in the dump. And um, I do wonder how. Wh whether this uh, really works during testing because. I would personally take a guess that uh, Django intentionally uh, disables that. Because otherwise the first time using... Uh, first, uh, first time user experience would be terrible. So let's try Django.server. If 
we have a jungle one dot ten, but I think we we are a jungle too, so it should be good. Uh, and propagate right, propagate false as was doing that. If you would set propagate true, you would get it, but that would put us a lot of yeah, that would give us a lot of other uh, information we don't want. So let's try jungle.server in a console handler and uh, let's start with info level. And next time we should maybe also run on Nidos uh, test counts. Alright. Hello to people who connected. Um. This is the downside of the full blown tests uh, that it's not quick. And also we don't see it. Okay. Well, if you would put in a debug and propagate it, what would we get? And uh, can we do test uh, what we want? Do we see the tests? And test UI is it? Yep. So test uh, tests test UI. I hope search worked this way. And meanwhile, let me actually find whether. Um, Test log uh, uh, jungle logging for tests. Whether it really takes the same settings. Because mm, that kind of surprises me if it is. Um, 2015, this is too old. Because I would expect this to be changing, but let's just see whether it's not in here. Photos. And the no. So good news is that this worked for um, search, but uh, here is the request processing, but we only see So the hmm. so we are processing requests for um, for Selenium. Uh, th th those are the requests to the web driver. What we and this is what is properly locked. So like the server processing those requests is logging correctly. But we don't see those external uh, requests from Selenium back to the server we are on. That kind of sucks. So let's keep that in mind. Um, my best 
guess really is the, the, the live server test case. Let's check that the live server uh, test case will be creating a new thread. It's definitely doing that. And there is a daemon. And uh, I think that the side effect of having a daemon is that the standard output is not inherited if it's using the standard threading uh, which is server third class which is live server third um, and live server third is training track yeah, that's correct uh, so let's look up um, python threading daemon mode and based on that Okay, so this is about whether it should die when the parent dies. Uh, so like imagine it as a inheritance uh, tree and well uh, un uh, under normal circumstances um, when you launch, launch another thread uh, and you exit the original program, the, like the original thread, the original loop you're running in, the program still runs. Uh, but if uh, you mark all the other threads as daemon, uh, then they are killed and uh, cleaned up uh, when, when you're done. And the, this doesn't exactly answer the question that I've been having which is if you write to a standard output or standard error in the thread object does it share um, the standard output with the parent thread meaning uh, will it write to the standard output in my console um, I mean, it's obviously not writing, but uh, that can be for multiple reasons. The easy way to fix this hypothesis would be for us to take, uh, to also look somewhere else, like to see whether it's, lo if this is happening, and it's only the case for the standard output or error um, then we should be able to see it in a file so if we are going to use the file handler from the docs so uh, let's add a file handler uh, temporary well I mean permanently why not for the purposes of testing this is my local file so let's do tnp graveyard dot log um, debug mode because sure why not and uh, handle to file as well uh, let's not call it file let's call it temporary file just uh, so you know that this is not significant and it should work then, um, you know, as long as I'm not making typos, this should work. And uh, in TMP, we should have the log file. Uh, and I should get all the outputs there. Uh, also, this is the main annoyance with running 
the tests on the same machine. Uh, the, the Chrome is still in focus. But based on what I saw, I haven't I haven't saw the server logging there. So let's see whether it hasn't changed. So the not found fuff icon, I wonder where it's coming from. But we're definitely not seeing the server URL. So the problem is elsewhere. So let me keep it in mind. Uh, also, oh, um, let me make the console larger for those of you with a small resolution. And um, Okay, so let's stop looking to the file for time being and uh, let's just try to debug the original problem. This is sad. Let's figure it out and then write a ticket. Uh, this is So, the URL of Missouri URL is trying to handle for icon actually, it seems. Which causes escalation. So, let's try to verify that assumption. Okay. <coughs> Cheers. Um, so, Faf, is it correct? That Faf icon is really causing this stir? Okay, let's also make it simpler and um, be asking from console. Um, ah. Oh, oh, uh, this is the debug page. I've been wondering why, uh, why am I seeing a full, full page? So slash fuff icon is uh, matching something weird. And I'm not sure what. Easy hotfix would probably be to uh, enable a static handler. Um, also, I'm I'm actually not sure what is the best practice for handling fab icon now, because um, in my world, uh, fab icon should be served from CDN. Uh, so, that means that it should be on a different domain, right segmented. Um, So one 
thing is to pr uh, provide a link in the template template. Um, but now that I think about it, uh, the actual underlying problem is probably for any URL that doesn't exist. So... Yep. So again, uh, multiple problems um, curled together. So one thing is, uh, let's figure out Favicon correctly, and um, that I think we can just add as an one easy issue. Does make sense somewhere here? No, but let me let me get it out of my head. Um, This, this needs some configuration and like it's easy but in it and we should definitely launch with that last one needs a phrasing and I will explain why. So we do we'll sort out um, that afterwards. The DCS that URLs is what's doing the um, initial match. We are not under uh, Sprawl under our custom admin, so that uh, shouldn't cause problems. So this all is blamed on those patterns. I don't see how for for right. Do we have custom for for templates uh, or handling for that matter? That may be issue. Uh, I don't think so. But let me double check how the configuration for that works. I think I've been selling that. So jungle. Uh, it's, it's clear I have 404, but why? Why during uh, creating the resolver exception we do have the variable do not exist? Resolver with a bad name, but here it's complaining about admin admin. So 
so I'm inside your house. Hmm. This is the building. I mean, make sure I have problems. I mean, it is true that it should get a priority. It's kind of wired for that. But. That shouldn't cause this, this type of issues. I mean, one is a way to find out. Let's, com uh, let's comment out uh, the handlers and see what happens. So, also let's restart to make sure. Okay, so even when you put in just admin, uh, it works that way. Even if we put no, if we put our just our codes, then it works fine. So the problem is somewhere um, in between. So it's all our out admin, it seems. Let's just verify um, the last um, combination. Okay. So our app in cooperation with any other app is causing issues, including our own app, which not nice. Fair to look up for key name. In the URL resolver room, drag on the URLs. I have a slight suspicion uh, it's the namespacing cookup that's causing the problem um, but I can't really pinpoint it through those means um, this is magic I mean as in, as in this is magical thinking and not debugging um, that's the part I don't like about it um, let's take a look um, We are not locked in. And the question was, was on dashboard. So my best guess is that if we would remove this because that's 
I mean, this is the link that shouldn't be rendered, so... Couldn't change things, and it doesn't. Exists once in the whole thing. Here we are doing paginations, but it poof. I mean, what would happen if we would have no? But same thing, so the problem isn't in the bot. It is in the URL setup. Now you see the true uh, shotgun programming connection. Uh, fuck it, it's easiest for this particular thing, so... Since we are not doing creative pages, they can as well wait. And it's still causing the issue. Even if we... out everything. Is this the case for all of them? So if you would comment up dragon. I mean this should be related to the 404 handle but come on. both of them commented out and let me go to the top here um, it still causes issue and when we take a look at settings We don't have any handler for four fours. Oh, no, this is all local. Oh, so is it some middleware we really like? Further here for middlewares. I share I mean, could be template processor, theoretically. White noises, although they have been change, uh, changing greatly in terms of delivery. So, if we put out white noise. So it doesn't change anything. Um, and if 
wie uninstall apps, dann wieder unter Fabs. And if we disable debug, still have the problem. We just have less for force. Okay, well, um, since this is Python and we have the virtual image, and I, I mean, uh, a good way to do this would also be for me to finally configure the debugger. Um, I'd like st step by step debugger if it works. Uh, this needs some OS configuration as well, so let me. Uh, do it separately, but uh, maybe just to show you what you can do if you're just uh, desperate is that you uh, can, s since we have virtual environments, uh, you can go to site packages to Django and to templates uh, and see what's happening here resolve look up and from here we can also uh, do an actual traceback so, which which will, which should also give us some brain dump. So, if I'm not mistaken, traceback have print exception that we can uh, use. In the error. So if also let me do it here, where it should give us more context. Uh -uh -uh. Because someone is uh, over overriding exception handler, but uh, let's see. Don't make the beginning connection. So, trace back follows. This is where we are. So this is this is where it uh, hmm. this is where it decides that it's 404. Wait, right, this is weird. If you look at it, uh, this is an exception where uh, we are deciding that like. Resolver 404. This doesn't. This doesn't match. The URL doesn't match the list of our URLs. Which, of course. But why is it happening in? Uh, this is from Resolvers. Whereas we are in the template. Hmm. 
why is resolving 404 causing the is it because it's causing recursion I mean let's look here and it annoys me that we have to do it this way as opposed to tests is really the um, uh, list of your uh, variables Okay, so we are looking for request path in uh, a dictionary, that's correct. Dictionary is fucked in an array. I'm not sure how this can work to be honest. List index lookup on a bit. That's key. This looks like uh, Django is mixing types in that uh, lookup dictionary. So let's first see what are we actually resolving. Um, in a template, because mind you, this is still for some reason happening within a template. And request path variable.
I mean, also potential. Uh, we custom handler may actually help us in, in this context. Surprisingly, because if the problem is printing all the four o four templates. So handler for a four. Needs to be anywhere else. No. Phew. Okay. Uh, let's put it on front. And well, where should that one go? Probably still did you see that I guess. Is that this is pretty complicated view folder? I, I mean, module. So um, that potentially creates a problem for um, obfuscating other errors. The more this stuff is complicated, the worse it is. Um, in terms of debugging, so uh, let's use this one as an example. Um, Basic templates. And see whether it helped with anything. Uh, no, it doesn't. But also of note, it's not using uh, our template handler. Which also may be uh, if the Django is overriding um, this stuff on debug, what would that make the faculty false? I mean, not 404, but um, not great, not terrible. <laughs> um, at least it correctly says uh, where the problem is. And render to response. 
is in Django shortcuts, I believe. Okay, so if you're not using debug, everything works well. If we go for debug, um, and I accidentally run tests, then the debug template is what's causing the issue. For fuck's sake. Okay. So, um, let's just verify uh, that if I go to the original state, including the admin, and including us actually having the file, uh, the file pass, then if we are not using the debug, Uh, it still works. Yeah, it still works. It doesn't throw an exception. So it's the debug. Handler that is doing something that is causing this. Okay, well, at least it's not a production problem. <laughs> this is entirely on us. Um, is there actually a way to disable it? This is Django Debug Handler. So this has to be a middleware, or maybe a non-middleware. My guess would be it's in the common middlewares. Goes to templates. That shouldn't be. Yeah. Well, let's ask Google. The thing is that I, like all of this is workaround. This is basically saying, uh, let's not use the Django 404. This is saying let's not, let's not use the default page, but that's not what we want to do. Um, what we want to do is make it work. I 
I now have a slight tendency to run bisect to, s to see where we, where, where we have broke it. Uh, because this is becoming a bit hairy. This is uh, this is a variable lookup handler somewhere. Like what? What could have caused it? Confess. So no other option than to properly go and trace back shoots. Which is only slightly annoying. The template unknown is uh, where I guess the 404 comes in. The name sounds like the 404 page is doing something funky. <sighs> I mean, also Django uh, to O13. Um, question is whether it isn't a bug that was fixed later on. Well, it only affects 404 and all in the bug mode. So, I propose for now on um, let's do the fifth icon actually and look this. back is long <laughs> um, and then in the field of expected exception so I think that this is let's copy from here Hopefully it doesn't contain private information, although even if it would, it's recorded now anyway. Uh, so let's put in this for future references. And um, I think that I actually have uh, an icon somewhere. 
well some I go so um, if we copy the I go to We should have a different spin of the icon based on the skin in the future, actually. This is true. So, uh, I am going to make two copies of the same. Uh, with the hope um, that in the future I will find someone who's actually capable of redoing them. Because I am not. So here I don't to static also. I vote for canceling those changes. Um oh you're also a normal person. Never mind. Also not um, also good not to forget. Uh, so let's actually see whether it's still a problem, but uh, my guess is that this doesn't change much. Yep. Um, so let's take a main template. I don't remember. feeling that because we can't put in a variable uh, we will need to create a variable for that uh, in the common variables <sighs> um, but let's first take a look whether uh, the proper icon is loaded and yes, it's ugly, but it's there. And this means that we shouldn't have the exception on world, but we do. Ta da! And the reason is uh, that we have a particular data with a link that doesn't exist. They support it on production, but I haven't downloaded it. So, also theoretically, if I would go to admin. Oops. 
without the typo. Almost all here done. And I will remember my password. I also remember last time this was shutting down the OBS. And it's not here, so we're good. But I have no idea what my password is uh, since last time. Um, uh, um, right, it may be in my password manager. I'm using this any reasonable person, of course. So let's just see whether by any chance I haven't put it in. Um, and no. So So let's change the passwords. Let's just use the site name. Um, I've been wondering whether it would show it, but uh, even though the box box are protected, so good. Uh, and we need to run the server again. Doesn't seem to be working much. Uh, ah. So in there, uh, the one that was causing the stir was, I think, the last one on the first plate. So one, two, three, four, five. This one, that is causing an image link here, so if I save it and reload, then we are good. Alright, so here you can see how a small thing could be fucking large. Let me also just take a look whether we can't uh, refer to the SVG version because that would make things way nicer. Uh, so SVG It will still need cropping, um, but I would say let's go with that. And uh, so let's remove that from Git. Um, the non SVG version. Both the dark and light. 
Um, the SVG also goes for right currently. And for common uh, variables that we have put somewhere, and we are referring to in the values.py, so context processors. This is what we are looking for. Yeah, exactly. So what you want to do is for FICO and it's in skin skin name This in lieu of the static tag. And the little feature and, and it fixes what was the name sixty eight. Let's wait for the CI. It's been a while. So at circle and they will let us log in. Apparently it's been a very long while. Um, we're running and it's two minutes. So let me wait for it. Um, it should be done soon. Um, this was kind of again going back into the trenches and a very short um, debugging show. <laughs> um, let me know what you think like whether for example it would be useful for you to see me uh like doing a proper debugging session with like break frames and uh you know setting up it in uh, visual studio code because uh i i've said it's uh, freshly on linux so i don't um i don't have a lot of conveniences so i whether it's something that's uh you know interesting or annoying um and uh since I am in, uh, you know, uh, in a country that's heading for a lockdown. Uh, there is a potential for uh, Corona-powered uh, live coding, so that is uh, something that I hope to get to in the next weeks. Um, I've set a deadline for myself actually when I want to deploy this and uh, present it to friends, uh, if whether in person or virtually. That's uh, that's to be seen. 
Um, so there's going to be more of it. And uh, let's see whether this is met with such a great success as before. Okay, when I see the not running part. Uh, what is this? Oh, you're cute, uh, which is because I'm on a free plan, I assume. Alright, so let's wait for it. Uh, and let me maybe figure out, uh, clean up this a bit. Because I think that I've been using uh, projects a bit badly. Uh, I think that projects shouldn't be milestones. And uh, well, the river is killed, so you know, no sense in having it. Um, you know, let me close that guy. Actually, maybe have a bright future even for the 20th anniversary. That is 2021. Gosh, this year is not done for long term planning. Um, but the launch. is roughly correct. It's later than in October. Uh, let me look it up here. It is on 13th of November. Uh, so let's make it 10th to have some spare time. So that's the current movement for me. But not 21, 2020. to live with the US date times. This is what happens if you do things tired. Ah, so this is um, um, 2020. And this is uh, September, it's going to be September 1st, 2021. Uh, and if the test passed, meanwhile, where are we? Oh, preparing. There is some progress. One thing that is a bit in interesting for me on this one is that I don't see the plan steps, which... Okay. Just makes me a bit wonder how... Whether everything is configured correctly, and I, have, I haven't missed some upgrades. But it um, doesn't seem so. Um... This all unfortunately looks necessary. <laughs> um, we need all of those guys. 
create the possible exception from CDN actually with this uh, volume of traffic we are having but otherwise this is only it um, the email infrastructure fun fact uh, is still an issue I've been trying to solve it offhand and um, Somehow the chosen uh, mail provider is uh, starting the new users in the band state and um, then you can figure it out. It's weird. Uh, I'm, uh, I think that's in um, one of the next sessions we will just switch to a different one. See that there is something that should be moved. And this actually is somehow. Right, yeah, I wanted to host it. Never mind. I wanted to do a proper GDPR version. Um, okay. Okay. This looks like trying to pursue me uh, to pay or not. Ah, we do have something. Okay. Now I feel way better. <laughs> um, should also be noted that I have changed my DNS settings and I'm using uh, the uh, I'm using the p-hole, uh, so I'm also wondering whether a part of this is not me um, sending more data to black hole. That's working so... One and a half minutes to build the current images. Hopefully it will be cached. Okay, so... 10 minutes to wait for 5 seconds and uh, this is what happens when your infrastructure is too complicated so this went well and we should be able to push to Heroku now remember I have um, haven't I been deploying by pushing to Heroku or was it automatic? This is what happens when you don't when you only do stuff from time from time and um, don't document enough and this I will take a look on a different machine uh, because this relies on some passwords and managers that are not migrated to an exit. So let me take a look here on my small secret iPad. And I have an automatic 
not even deploy because I see that right uh, just now we have deployed which should be seen if we do looks so yep that was right now so if we go there We will have a dramatic pause. Um, with secure connection alert. What is the issue? Okay, so SSL error. Uh, right, which may be the cache we've been handling before. So if you go on insecure, stuff works. We should see the request, uh, but we see the FF icon. That's the thing we've been doing. All right, so that's it for today, folks. And we, we, oh boy, we have done a bunch of requests. So that's all for today, folks. Uh, thanks for the attention, and um, see you all soon. Bye.